It's crazy because this is the same dough, exactly the same dough with a little refresh. Hello guys, the video today is gonna shock you. Soft and crunchy in the same time. I mean, I'm not sure. Guys, welcome to my channel. And thank you so much for your valuable time. Guys, today, I'm not sure if you are watching right here, those pizzas i can tell you one thing it's the same dough and this is gonna be so interesting because i dreamed this video and it's my it reminds me when i was a little kid with my father because this dough it's uh, what my father used to do in my pizza place we never throw away pizza dough enjoy the same pizza dough old we make a new so basically is how to make a pizza dough with a carry oven carry carry oven Hold on a sec, let me check the, the phone. Oh my God, my English. It's pasta di riporto in Italia. Carry over, Ooh. carry over pizza dough. Yes, so you never throw away pizza dough. Just watch this video and now we are ready to make the dough. So uh, let me tell you the truth. You know, when, when my father was, uh, was a pizza chef, was, he's still a pizza chef. When we were at the pizzeria, he was making the dough every day in the same way. Why we are here? To show you that I didn't throw away any ooh, pizza dough. <laughs> like you can see here, I have some uh, overproof leftover pizza dough. This has been two days in the fridge. So uh, today, voila, take a look. It's nice and fermented. It's still, but so your question is gonna be, how long can keep, I can keep the dough in the fridge? Well, you can keep the dough in the fridge for about two, three days. What my father used to do is every day, instead of using the fresh yeast or free or yeast or mother yeast or whatever, he was making the dough with the leftover pizza dough from the day before. We call that pasta di riporto. So it was going like that for years and years. So always the pizza dough from the day before, two, three days before there was leftover, he was going to put this in the, in the machine by adding your recipe. So, here, today, I'm going to show you how to make the dough with uh, just water, flour, and a little bit of salt. That's all you need. Today, you are going to see from me, first of all, how to make this dough and all the method and everything. So please smash that like, subscribe right there. It's totally free and help me share and reach these 1 million subscribers. At the very end, I'm going to show you a couple of balls with this dough, like right now, and uh, the difference between the pizza dough that we're gonna make with the leftover pizza dough, so the refreshing method. I wanna make about four to five pizzas. So what I do, I scale one kilo of, uh, the, of dough. So here we go, let's get the, let's try to take out the, the dry part like this. See, this is dry because uh, in the fridge was, uh, it went explode. So we basically, we can uh, really do anything, but still, if you get the, the dry dough like that, you just put a little bit of water Let's say your dough balls, they get dry, you get a little bit of water like that, and then you wait like a 30 minutes or so, and the pizza will be refreshed again. The goal for me is to let you understand a very simple method, the best method. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get it inside details or whatever. You just wanna see the goal. So remember, one dough ball is about 280 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and scale one kilo, so that it's gonna make three, uh, I'm gonna count it with three, three, six. It's gonna make about four and then uh, four balls. And then with the water and flour that we're gonna add, we're gonna have uh, about five balls. Take a look at how nicely and uh, fermented is, uh, is the dough. So that, that means there is uh, still really good dough. 550, there we go. We got one kilo of dough. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and make, see, it's, it's even, harder because the gluten structure it gets harder. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, the difference between this dough, between the one that we're gonna refresh. Still, it's gonna be good, but it's a totally different texture, you're gonna see. So let's go ahead and let's make this dough. See, you can tell there is a... This is the reason how the gluten, uh, that, that's the reason why we don't use this dough because uh, you know, over the day, the gluten structure gets weaker and weaker. But we still, I'm gonna show you the difference of uh, this dough between the one fresh that we're gonna make. So let's scale, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this. This way we keep the dough separate, two and three. 
So this is going to be ready in about two hours. It's going to be ready in the, in the same time, approximately. So let's go ahead and let's put this one right here. And this, of course, you're going to say, what are you going to do with this the leftover? So you can basically freeze this and use this for the next time as, as a yeast. Put it back like that. This way we don't throw away anything. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the fridge. But when I finish this video, I'm going to put it in the, in the freezer. There we go. So now we're ready to make uh, the pizza dough. One kilo of carry-on dough, 200 milligrams of water, 220 grams of flour, and just five grams of salt. Okay, after you put the, the whole uh, dough uh, inside the dough machine, uh, you have to make this dough with the machine because uh, it's too hard to do it with, uh, without machine. So this is the way how to build uh, the structure of the gluten like to refresh the structure of the gluten. So, you know, like I say, this is like refreshing the pizza dough. Voila, we put the 220 grams of flour there. Let's add the salt. It's just five grams of salt, but this is very important. And uh, uh, I wanted to say, if you wanna make uh, big quantities, of course you can. I will leave in description a little bit of example of uh, how to make it with 10 kilos or 20 kilos so you have to this way you understand so remember the more you put the more dough or the more polish or the more bigger or the more yeast you put the faster it will grow so in this case we are doing just a little bit okay before putting the water let's go ahead and let's put a speed number one now we're gonna integrate the flour with the old dough so this it can take about two to three minutes, it depends. We want to keep it at slow temperature, as low speed, because otherwise we're gonna, we can make a mess. Pay attention, because this is important. Put the, dough, the water little by little in the dough machine. Don't speed up this process. Actually, the best way, what I like to do, is to go with the spoon. This way you go directly on top of the dough. Now at this point we can go ahead and speed up the dough machine. And wait, every time that you pour the water in, you're gonna wait that the dough integrates the water. So we have to wait. This process it can take about to up to 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you don't over knead the dough. There we go. So now we wait just the this dough integrates the the water that we just put, and uh, we are ready to go ahead and do the second step. So when the dough will detach from the machine, our dough is spectacular ready. And uh, voila, Whew. the dough it's uh, lovely ready. So now let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do next. Let's get a little bit of uh, olive oil like usual, a little bit, not too much. On your hands, a little bit on the floor, lightly, and on the spatula. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Voila. The dough on the counter. Voila. That's how you find the lovely fresh dough, love fresh dough, yes. Little bit of uh, olive oil on top. And the nice thing is that you can also increase the, uh, you can also increase the, uh, the, the, the amount of the water, so the hydration. This way, the dough comes out a little bit more strong, a little bit more soft and crunchy at the same time. So, now, lightly, Tap, tap, tap on top. We let it rest for about 10 minutes to 15 minutes before making the dough balls. So just like that at the room temperature. So let's, let's rest it and see you in 10. Voila, guys, 10 minutes is passed by. In these 10 minutes of uh, resting, the gluten had got a build up nice and stronger. So let's go ahead and let's make the dough balls. Fantastic, can't believe. I mean, if you see this dough, you don't believe that this dough was uh, from uh, uh, four, uh, four days ago, actually three, from three days ago. 
little bit of uh, olive oil, tap, tap, tap. and uh, take a look nice and uh, smooth. That's the goal of today, soft and crunchy. Uh, you may ask, uh, can I use again this one for tomorrow or after tomorrow? Yes. You go ahead, put it back in the fridge, make a ball, put it back in the fridge, and it's good if you do the same thing over and over. And remember, we didn't put any, any yeast here. So, so now let's go ahead and uh, tie it up the dough ball and uh, put it in the box. Then, boom. Voila, the dough is ready. Now, let's wait one hour and a half to two hours. And uh, voila, so now let's go ahead, let's uh, fire up the pizza oven with the gas. I'm thinking I should show them a couple of tricks. No, let's wait to the next video for that because I don't want to get confused with different things. So now let's go ahead, let's prep everything, fire up the pizza oven, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference between uh, fresh pizza dough versus the old pizza dough. Phew. Let's oh my God, voila, guys, can't wait to show you. Everything is ready, everything is set. We got the ingredients, we got olive oil, mozzarella, classic fresh tomato, parmesan cheese, and fresh basil. Special guest, my daughter. Say hi. Hi. How are you, everybody? I'm good. No, I know they are good. How are you, everybody? Hi, everybody. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and test the, uh, the temperature of the pizza. Here we go. The temperature of the oven. Can't wait to show. Oh my! Oh my God! Can show. I can't wait to show you. Let me get this out of the sun. Let me show you uh, how is the dough. Definitely take a look. The one on the left is the one that. Oh, did you see the gluten structure? It's a little bit broke. See, compared to the refresh one. Outstanding. Can't wait. Let's go ahead. And see. Let's make it. And check out my daughter too. Don't eat the pasta. Don't eat it. I'm gonna make some pizza. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Check her out. It's uh, free. Subscribe to her channel. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> see you. I see you. Zoe, if you eat the if you eat the old dough, I cannot make pizza. Not you make pizza, Zoe. I know that you're gonna make pizza. Okay. Now let me make the pizza first. So guys, like you can see. This is the dough. It's a huge, huge different. I mean, this is so soft, outstanding. This is too, the, the gluten structure is so dry, so dry. So let's go ahead, let's make first the pizza. First, the pizza that we have uh, with the old dough. So I wanna show you, pay attention. Watch out, a little bit in the flour. Wait, you're gonna make, here, this is for you. This is for you, you can have so much fun, but make sure you make a good pizza, okay? It's, uh, it's also, not that it's only hard, it's also that so difficult because uh, if you don't stretch good, the pizza is not gonna come out uh, properly. It's more than, more than uh, uh, everything. The, more, the biggest problem here is that it's nervous. Nervous, that means they go back and forth, back and forth. So it's mad. But for sure, it's gonna pop out too. It's always important to good press. Mm. Uh, it, it, a trouble to stretch because it's so hard and goes it rips. Hold on, let me show you. So this stretching it, it's very hard. But I want to show you the the structure of the gluten. If you can see, mm, see. It looks like there is a, it's getting ripped apart. So let me make it exactly the same pizza. We're gonna go ahead and see the structure inside and the flavor, most importantly. Voila. Parmesan cheese, a little bit of basil, and a little bit of fresh mozzarella. We're gonna make some perfect pizzas. Right there, a bit of uh, olive oil on top. We're ready to go in the oven. Ooh, the oven is it's really hot. Pinch it. Zoe, wait a second. You can eat this pizza, not, not the raw dough. It's not bad. There's nothing wrong to eat the raw dough. 
but it's better to eat the, the real regular pizza. Okay guys, now we are ready to go in the oven. It's nice and hot. Like you can see, we're gonna make a nice 12 inches pizza. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go ahead and let's go in the oven. It's been warming up for uh, one hour. I repeat that we're gonna go ahead opla, and compare the two pizza at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here next to the oven. Lower down the flame. Boom, 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 voila. So if the oven is too hot on the bottom, that means that the, the, that means that uh, the oven was on too much time. So I'm keeping the peel under the, the pizza. This way, the bottom of the pizza doesn't, this way the bottom of the pizza doesn't get burned. Okay, the pizza is about to be ready. Voila, pizza is ready. Like you can see, probably you're gonna say, oh, it looks so nice and beautiful. It looks so nice and beautiful. But uh, I wanna show you a couple of different of uh, old dough and why it's old uh, compared to the new dough. So let's put this on the side. And right away, let's make, before we make a mess, the other pizza with the new dough. Wow, looks so fantastic. Uh, right away, you can tell that the dough is much softer. It looks like we made it an hour ago. Well, we made it an hour ago. Voila, perfect. Now we stretch. Press all the air to the crust. Much easy to stretch. Voila. Go wash your hands, yes. Hold on. Go wash your hands. Voila. Go for Sorry, guys. But if you have kids, you understand. <laughs> anyway, so now let's press. Like you can see, it's nice and soft. Again, we didn't put any yeast. Zero. And the, the dough grow in about, look at it, this is the structure. The, glow, uh, the dough uh, glow, uh, grow in about only uh, one hour and a half. Same, same uh, actually the other one was two hours. So let's go ahead, let's put the tomato sauce on top. Voila, Parmesan cheese, fresh basil, and fresh mozzarella. Little bit of uh, olive oil and let's put it in the oven. Make it a little bit larger. This is also, it's not nervous at all. Let's go ahead, let's put it in the oven. Same spot. This is uh, one dough. Wow, pizza is uh, lovely. It's getting, it's crazy because this is the same dough. Exactly the same dough with a little refresh. Yes, you're gonna eat it with me now. Yeah, Daddy. I know. I wanna eat, Daddy. <laughs> I know you wanna eat. There we go, guys. The pizza. Ooh, the pizza. Boom! It's lovely, ready. I mean, take a look of this one. Take a look of the structure of the structure of this pizza. It's crazy. The different. It's unbelievable. This one is the, like you can see, the dough looks like a little bit uh, uh, white and yellow with a little bit of black dots there. I mean, take a look of, the, of this one, you see the crust nice and puffy, a little bit more smooth the crust, different bubbles. Now, you judge in the comments. Let's see the inside. I wanna explain to you what we are talking about and uh, why it's so important to refresh the dough. Why it's so important to refresh the pizza dough. Voila. So guys, this is the structure, the inside of the dough. Let me show you closely. Did you see? This is the, the, the one that we refresh and this is the old one. Here on the, on the, the old one, did you see, this is, uh, it didn't puff out too much, it didn't pop out too much because uh, 
the the the, the structure so basically because the dough it's uh, it got hold so the gluten got so weak so probably even the taste is not so good this one instead it's uh, the, it's like fresh and new so now it's just time to go ahead and taste let me smell it yeah even the smell is different because you can tell that this is a little bit old it's a little bit more heavy compared to this so this is so light it's crazy because this is the same dough and uh, just just a refresh so let's go ahead let's see It tastes a little bit sour, but uh, similar when you make the pizza with uh, sourdough. Mm. Definitely, the crust uh, feels so light and so good. Uh, for me, this, this video, it's crazy. Nobody ever done something like this before. And uh, only my father used to do it like that. So please, guys, go ahead and share. And if you are interested, go ahead and check out my, my master, my, my full course online of masterclass. It's crazy, unbelievable. Link in description. And the uh, link in description for this recipe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm going to go ahead and eat this with my daughter. She went inside. And uh, I'll see you the next one. From next video is going to be so interesting. Like always. Thank you so much, guys. Smash that like and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.